Autodesk Moldflow features the ability to simulate microcellular injection molding using chemical blowing agents. With more focus towards lightweighting parts, the industry is utilizing technologies like microcellular injection molding to create plastic parts with an internal foam structure. In this microcellular injection molding process, chemical blowing agents are mixed with the polymer and injected into the cavity. This is similar to the mucell process, except that it uses a chemical blowing agent that generates a foaming gas, typically upon heating in the barrel. This process has the advantage in that a regular injection molding machine can be used without any modification or additional equipment needed. So here we have a standard injection molded part. We will look at the final mass of the part. Now we can compare it to a part produced using chemical blowing agents and investigate its final mass. We can also compare these parts side by side and look at the density plot. The part on the left, made with chemical blowing agents, has a much lower density, highlighting the weight savings seen using the microcellular injection molding process. We can also review the bubble radius results using a cutting plane to see the interior foam structure of the part. This result will show us the size of the bubble radius and the distribution across the part. By using this process with chemical blowing agents, we were able to reduce the part weight by almost 17% in this case.